Today was a thrill. I sleep a little better knowing there's people like Grace Kelly playing the alto saxophone. I heard her uh, at the Pittsfield uh, Jazz Festival a couple of years ago, and I was really struck by her, her maturity and the way she, the way she played. And when she asked me to record, well, Lee Conus and I were talking a lot about her. We, 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 we both agreed that she's, she's definitely a, a voice of the alto saxophone. And it's so refreshing to have a young lady, a beautiful young lady, who plays with such fire and spirit. So when I got a chance to record with her on, on this session today, uh, to my chagrin, I had to cancel two times because of health reasons, which I'm not going to bore, bore anybody with. But today, after two cancellations, we were able to realize the project. and. Uh, I think it went beautifully. We did some Benny Carter, we did some uh, Billy Strayhorn, and Monty Alexander, and Bill Goodwin, and Kevin Gregor, and uh, myself, and Grace on alto, and Grace sang, and played behind her, and uh, it just felt good. I think we have a, I think we have a fine uh, record here, and I'm very honored to finally, <laughs> I didn't fall down or hurt myself and have to cancel a third time, Mr. Mr. Kelly and Grace and everybody's been very, very kind with the, well, it's my string of bad luck. But I think that's all over and I'm happy to say, bravo Grace Kelly, bravo band, bravo Kenta Engineer, beautiful with the Pocono Mountains and uh, we're gonna have a good rest tonight. Can't wait for the record to come out.